to have you all here today. I'm Jill Lindstrom, and I um, am teaching chair fit. Let me move those batteries. I meant to put them away, and I forgot. All right, let's start with a march. March it out. Good. March it out. Good. You ready for a side tap? We're going to side tap, side tap. Open and close those arms. Alternate it. Good. Alternate those arms. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Now knee lift. Knee lift. One arm up, one arm down. Good. You got it. Good. Up and down we go. Four more. Three, two, last one. Now let's march it like we're going somewhere. Sit up tall. Good. Good to have you here this afternoon. It's kind of been a rainy day, hasn't it? Hopefully this will rev us up a little bit. Get us moving. Four, three, two. Plant your feet. We're going to jump and jump. One forward, one back. Swing those arms. Watch those arms in the chair. If you have that chair with arms, Swing up. Good. All right. Swing those arms. Swing them. Wake them up. Uh oh, I'm hitting my thing. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Now tap it side. Reach it side. Add that little swing and a little twist. If that makes you dizzy, just look forward. Keep going. I'm going to move my joke so that I don't slide off on it. You got it. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Good. Now march it, chug it. March it, chug it. Roll those shoulders up and down. Around in that circle. The feet are still marching. Good, now roll it back, roll it back. Good job. Four more. Three, two, last one. Good, right here. Let's open and close those hands. Open and close. Reach it out, stretch it out, warm it up. Good. Out and in we go. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Good. Let's sit up tall. March it out. Good. You ready? We're going to ski. We're going to slide those heels side to side. Add that little upper body. You could lift those feet if you feel comfortable doing that and ski it. Ski it to the side. Good. Ski it side. Add that little belly movement. Four more. And three. And two. Last one. Good. All right. Little feet right here. Let's do some little feet. Yeah, little fast feet. Let's do some little fast feet. For four. Three. Two. Last one. Jumping jack. Bring it in. Four. Three. Two. Jumping jack. Bring it in. There's an alternate right there. Four. Three, two, one foot at a time. If it hurts your back, don't do both. Four, three, two, jumping jack the best that you can. Four, three, two, jumping jack. Good. Four, three, two, jumping jack. One more time. Four, three, two, jumping jack. Let's go to that ski. Ski. Add that little belly twist. Good. Waking it up. Good. Are you warming up? I am. You got this. Ah, four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. All right. Carefully reach down and grab your weights. And I have a tickly hair. I need my hair cut probably just like you. And I got that tickly hair right in my eye. All right. There we go. All right. So sitting up nice and tall. You have both of your weights. Watch the arms in your chair. Maybe you need to come forward so that you don't hit the arms in your chair if you have them. Up we go. We're going to go up, two, up, two. 
down, two, down, two, good, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, good, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, you got it? It's a four count, you got it? It's nice and slow, only reach to where you can, up, two, up, two, down, two, down, two, one more like that, up, two, up, two, and down, two, and down, two, good, all right, now, let's lean it forward, bring your feet out nice and solid, a good solid base, good, and right here, we're going to lean forward, we're going to lift and lower, and lift and lower, good, lift and lower, lift and lower, good, oh, my ball is in the way, is your ball in the way, all right, up and down we go, working those shoulders, four more, three, Two, I'm not lifting high. Last one, good. Stay in this forward position. It works our lower back a little bit, but we're gonna pull it up and push it down. Good, pull it up. Ugh. Work that lower back and push it down. Pull it up and push it down. And pull it up and push it down. And pull and push, good. And pull and push. And pull and push two more. Pull and push and pull and push last one. Good. All right, now let's pick on those legs for just a minute. So we're going to put those weights on the legs. If you have small weights, put them on, put them both on one leg. My weights aren't small, so I'm not going to do that. All right, up we go. Over and then kick it forward. Good. So up and over and kick it forward. Up and over, and kick it forward. Oh, I can feel those. Up and over, and kick it forward. Up and over, and kick it forward. Two more, we can do two more. We can do two more, I know we can. Oh, last one right here. Up and over, and kick it out. Oh, let's sit up tall. I started slouching, I don't know about you. Up and over, and kick it out. I don't know about you. It came out, I don't know about you. I don't know about that either. But there we go. Up and over. I know I don't like it. I know it's gross. But there we go. We did lots of diction in choir when I was in college. That was the big one. You should say about chew, not about chew. That's a whole different thing, isn't it? All right, there we go. Let's let that be what it is. All right, so let's um, forward in your chair. You should be forward a little bit already. Good, now let's come um, back in that chair. Bring those arms right up here. Weights are one on each side. Good, and we're gonna come forward. We're gonna come up, push it out, bring it in, and come back down nice and slowly. Now, if this hurts your back, try it without the weights. Try it without the extension. Modify for what feels good for you. Good, up we go. Now, if you need to keep your arms in closer, you could be here. This might be a little easier for some of us. Good. And as you notice, I'm not extending very far because my weights are heavy and I feel the pressure in my back, so I don't want to extend too much. Good. Up, out, in, and back. One more. Out, up, in, and back. Good. All right, now let's turn to the side. And I like to do this for you that have those chairs with arms because I think a lot of you do have the chairs with the arms. And um, I just kind of learned that by helping people with groceries, and I realized, wow, there's very few of you that have chairs without arms. All right, so let's lift that elbow. Good. We're going to, excuse me, kick it back, bring it up, bring it down. Up, kick it back, bring it in, bring it down. Up, back, in, and down. Up, kick it back, in, and down. Up, kick it back, in, and down. Two more. Up, kick it back. In and down. Last one. Up. Kick it back. In and down. Good. Oh. All right. Now let's take that arm. We're gonna roll that shoulder back. Put in your palm facing forward towards your buttocks and your leg. Good. Right here. I want you to lift from the back of your arm. Good. This is a posture exercise. We're really stretching through the chest here. You should feel that. But we're also lifting from the tricep, working that tricep muscle. 
four more, three, two, and last one. Now hold it up there, just lifting, just focus and lifting on that tricep muscle right in the back of the arm. Just lifting there, not making the rest of my arm move, just that, four, three, two, Ooh, last one, I felt those. All right, here we go. Let's go the other way. Here we go. So sitting side saddle so we don't hit the arm in the chair. Elbow is lifted. We kick it back, bring it in, bring it down. Good, up, kick it back, bring it in, bring it down. Up, back, in, and down. Up, kick it back, bring it in, and down. Up, kick it back, in, and down. Good. You got this. All right, two more, and last one. Good, now turn your palm, turn your shoulder, bring everything back and open. It should be a big stretch right here through your shoulder. We're gonna lift from the back of the arm. Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Good. Lift and lower. All right, four more, three, two, last one, hold it up there, little pulses. You should be feeling this in the back of that arm, right? Yeah, I can, four, three, two, and last one, good, oh, all right. So let's bring those weights right back up here, good, we're gonna, Jab, punch with a tap. Jab, punch, tap. Jab, punch, tap. We did a little bit of this as a warm up yesterday. Today we're doing it with our weights. Jab, punch, tap. Back is straight where tummies are tight. We're supporting that back. If you have heavy weights, you might want to put them down. All right, now let's add that cross. Cross it or cross the body. Cross the body. Palm is down. If it hurts your back, we do it without the weight. Good. Punch it over. Four more. And three. And two. And last one. Good. Now bring that arm, just one arm, up here. We're going to punch him in the nose and punch him in the knee. So we lift up, punch in the nose, punch in the knee. Maybe you have a shorty, right? Maybe it's just a little guy. That's okay. You do the best you can. Up and down we go. In the nose, in the knee. Two more. In the nose. In the knee, last one. In the nose, in the knee. Good, you ready for the other side? Here we go. We punch it up and down. Up and down, good. Up and down. You got it. Nose, then knee. Nose, knee. Four more. Oh, who picked four? Three. Two, one. That's it. Oh, those are tough. All right, roll those shoulders back. I think we got a little extra credit on that one side anyway. All right, so here's our elephants. We're doing our elephants. Take your weights. We're going to put them right on your lap. I want you to imagine that those elephant, those weights are your elephant. They're right on your lap, and you cannot get up out of your chair. We're going to have to do 19 today. Today is the 19th of May. So up and, up and down we go. So we're going to try to stand up with the elephant on our lap. So we squeeze the muscles, but we come back because we can't do it. Up and squeeze. Good. Squeeze like you're trying to get out of your chair. Squeeze all those muscles. Squeeze them all. Push through your feet even. It was just so heavy. He's this healthy, heavy elephant. He's a baby, but he's heavy. Six. Here we go. Seven. Push through those feet. Eight. You can do it. Nine. Oh, he's getting heavier. But we are stronger. Every day we're stronger. Here's 11. You got to try to push through those feet. Maybe your bottom's coming a little bit off the chair. Here's 13. Ooh, we're getting there. 14, we can do it, 15, 16, oh, 17, two more, 18, and 19, wow, those are tough, those are really tough, okay, let's carefully put our weights down, good, and we're going to work that muscle on the leg just a little bit to um, take some of the burn away. So we're going to take that strap and we're going to put it underneath your foot. Now, I changed something about the sound today. And if you 
can hear me better, if you feel the sound is better today, could you let me know? Either call me or send me an email. Um, call me from the front desk. Ask for Jill Lindstrom, and I'll put you to my extension. So it's here, one foot. Or J Lindstrom, L-I-N-D-S-T-R-O-M, at River Landing, all spelled out, S-R for Sandy Ridge, dot org. So it's J Lindstrom at Sandy Ridge, dot org. So if you think this sound is better today than usual, could you let me know? If you think today's sound is worse than usual, let me know. All right, up and down we go. Crazy witchcraft. Here we go. Four more. And three. And two. Last one. Now hold this one there. Let's feel that nice stretch. Push your heel to the front. Good. Now push your toe. Now if you're way down here, that's fine. You can flex and point right from here. Flex and point and flex and point. One more just like that. Flex and point. Good. Now let's put that foot on the floor. We're going to lift the knee as high as you can. Put some tension in the strap. Hold it right here. Don't move your strap. Just push your foot. Lift. Push your foot. It's like you're trying to scuff something off the heel of your shoe. Scuff it off. Scuff it off. Good. All right, can we go a little faster with a heel tap? Heel tap. Four, three, two, put some sass in it. Last one. Now heels on the floor, tap and lift. We're working that ankle, tap and lift. Tap and lift. Good. I finished a puzzle on my two, day, two days off. Wasn't that fun on that weekend? Do you like puzzles? I love puzzles. All right, tap it right here. I had started it though at Christmas time. It was a picture of a snowman. I figured it was time for it to be done. But tap it side to side. My daughter helped me. Tap it, tap it. Good. All right, you should be feeling these ankles. That muscle we're working is really small. Let's do four, three, two, Last one. All right, carefully sit up. Let's take that strap and we're going to bring it to the other side. Lift that foot up. We put some tension in it. Good. Oh, let's push it out and bring it in. Now, whether it's high or low, it doesn't matter. Really, it doesn't. If you want to alternate a little bit, a little high, a little bit low, that's fine. This is my crabby side. Let's stretch it out. Push your heel to the front. Good. It could be down here. Perfectly fine. Stretch it forward with the toe pointed. Good. Heel stretch. Toe pointed. And heel stretch. And toe pointed. One more. A little extra credit on this side because this side is tight for me. All right. So put that heel on the floor. We're going to work that ankle. Oh, no. We're going to do this first. We didn't do the heels, did we? We didn't push that heel in. Good. Get that off of your shoe. Get that off your shoe. Good. Right down to the floor. Hit that heel on the floor. Hit the heel on the floor. Good. You thought I forgot. Sometimes I do forget. I know I do. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Pulse it right here. Pulse it. But I know I'm in good company because you all forget things sometimes too, right? It's not just me. I have a good friend who told me that um, my brain is just really full, so it's going to make me yawn, and it's going to make me forget things. So thank you for that. I appreciate the person who told me that. All right, so put that heel right here. Tap it and lift it. Tap and lift. Yeah, lots on your brain when you have a job and a family at home, too, up and down. I'm trying to keep them just as safe as I'm keeping myself. Up and down. Here we go. All right, tap it right here. I've really learned through this whole thing, though, to be very 
um, savvy and even selfish with grocery delivery because boy that helps a lot. I haven't done any real grocery shopping in a while. Tap it side. I do just like you guys do here. I do either delivery or pickup. And um, it works really pretty well I think. It's expensive. It's more expensive but when you don't want to be walking to your grocery store with a lot of people it's a great thing to do. It's side to side. All right, let's do four more. And three. And two. Last one, good. Ah, let's sit up nice and tall. Take that strap off. I don't know about you, but my fingers, sometimes they skirt, and actually some of them are blue when I hold that strap for so long. So let's go ahead and wiggle those fingers, rub them out, rub the fingers, little open and close, give them a shake. All right, so bring that strap back up, and if you can, and it's close by, I'm looking for my ball on the floor, it's right here. Um, grab your ball, okay? So we're sitting up nice and tall. I'm gonna sit mid-chair. It feels more comfortable for me. So holding mostly with my thumb and the index finger, we're gonna squeeze down and pull, squeeze down and pull, squeeze down and pull. Alternating sides to start. Alternating sides to start. Pull, 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 pull. Good. We could start up here. If you have the mobility in the shoulder, you can start way up tall. And where am I squeezing the ball? I'm squeezing the ball on the down. Squeeze on the down. Squeeze the ball on the down. Good job. See, there comes that yawn. My brain is so full, it just needed a little more oxygen. Four more. Three. Two. Good, and last one. All right, now keep squeezing that ball. Let's squeeze and lift. Good, take your hands. Thumbs are out. Pull, release, pull, release. I'm pushing those thumbs out. Let's add a heel lift, heel lift. Happy birthday today to Phyllis Shiflet to Maurice Thorne, or Horn, excuse me, and um, Regina Shepherd. And I thought I had Regina's picture to bring it up with me to work out, but I cannot find it. And I was so sure I had one of her. But thank you to anybody who sent pictures. If your picture is here and it's your birthday, I'll try to bring you up with me. Um, but for some reason, I could not find hers. Let's do four more. Three, two, Last one, now leave the toes on the floor. Heels are lifted, pulse to the side. Thumbs go side. Good. Four more. Three, two, and last one. Oh, let's roll those shoulders. Good, all right, let's pick a little bit more on those legs. So take your strap and put it on the floor. Bring that ball right between the calves or the shins, however you like to think of it. And we're gonna bring it up. So we're gonna go up, squeeze, down, tap your heels. 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 Up, squeeze, down, heels. Up, squeeze, down, tap your heels. Up, squeeze, down, tap. Up, squeeze, down, tap. Up, squeeze, down, tap. Two more. Last one, right here now, right here, just pulse it. Turn your heels, like you're trying to tap your heels towards each other. Good, working that inner thigh, but just a little differently. Good job. Four, three, two, last one. Now with the heels turned in, I want you to just roll just a little bit. Roll just a little bit. Keep squeezing. Squeeze harder. Squeeze harder. Squeeze that ball. Little movement there. Working that inner thigh. Good. For four, three, two, last one. Oh, wow. Let's work the back of that leg then. You know what? Let's do it this way today. Let's put the ball on the floor. We're going to stretch it out nice and long. Push the heel into the ball. Push the heel into the ball. Good. You can be sitting comfortably on the chair, but just make sure you're not slouchy, right? No slouching. I was slouching. Yeah, I do, I do slouches too. 
push that heel down. But there's nothing worse than getting in the car after my husband's been in my car and he sits way back there. Oh, drives me crazy. And Paul sit right there. I keep asking him, how can you sit like that? Do you not like get out and can't you and you can't walk because your back hurts so bad? He thinks I'm silly. Alright, pulse that heel. Good. Four, three, two. Last one. Now squeeze it down and hold it. And lift. Squeeze it down and hold. And lift. And squeeze it down and hold. And lift two more. Squeeze it down and hold. And lift last one. Squeeze it down and hold. Good. All right, let's go to that other side. Put the heel on the ball. Slow. It's a slow push and release. Good. I keep moving that paper. It just wants to come out. The jokes want to come out right now. Good. Squeeze. Push it down. Good. All right. If you are doing maintain that gain with me and would like to give me a mid-month wait, please feel free to give me a mid-month wait by calling or emailing me. It's okay if you don't, um, but I really will require to be part of the drawing if you do one in June, the first week of June. So if you want to give me that mid, mid-month one, it's due this week. Otherwise, we can wait until the first part of June. You decide. It's fine. All right, now push it down and hold and release. Push it down and hold. And release one more. Push it down and hold. And release it. Good. All right, let's pick that ball up. Good. Let's work the range of motion of our shoulder. We have another minute yet. To, so sitting up nice and tall, we're going to work that shoulder. So we're going to turn it in and bring it out. In. You can tap your leg out. You can tap the back of the chair or just tap the air. I don't know. Can you tap air? I don't know. Good. Open and close right here. So we're, roll, we're rolling that shoulder, easy for me to say, right? Rolling that shoulder out and in. Two more. And last one. Good, let's do that other side. Roll it and back. Roll and back. Good, roll that shoulder, bring it back. Ha. Ah. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. All right. Now, let's go ahead and take that ball and keep it for our stretch. So we're going to take the ball. I want you to bring it out like you're going to hand it to me. And then we're going to reach down and we're going to tap whatever we can reach. The leg or the foot. Tap it. Big stretch forward. Good, let's take that ball. We're gonna stretch it out to the side with a twist and turn. Good, bring it back and tap your toe or tap your leg wherever you can reach. Maybe you've reached a little bit further. Good, reach it up. Big stretch, bend the elbow if you need to and then I want you to tap your shoulder on the other side. Good, bring it back to the center. Let's do the other side. So that heel goes out, we reach it out. Good, bring it down and tap your toe. Tap that toe. Good. Whatever you can reach. If you can't tap your toe, tap your shin. Just don't tap your neighbor's shin. All right, and reach it back with a turn and a twist. Unless he doesn't mind or she doesn't mind. And then bring it back and tap it. Good. Oh, reach it up as high as you can. Elbow bent if it hurts, because some of us can't reach like that anymore. And then turn and tap that shoulder. Woo! And there's the end of that, right? All right, carefully put your ball away. I'm not going to roll off the stage with the ball. All right, here, shrug your shoulders. Shrug your shoulders. Good. I guess the ball didn't want to be played with anymore. Now roll those shoulders back while you're doing that. I'm going to turn that music down. Good. Roll those shoulders back. Good. All right. Now put your heels out again. Bring those arms up. 
I'm going to reach down for those toes one last time. Good, reach it back. Exhale, reach down for those toes. One more time, out and open. And reach down for those toes. Good, and bring it all the way up. Sit up nice and tall. Let's do a little cat and cow. So we curl, and then we inhale and we lift. Good, and we curl. And we inhale and we lift. Good, two more. And last one. Good, and sit up nice and tall. Let's bring one ear over to the side. Bring it up, bring that ear over to the side. Oh, that feels good. And you know, I realized that my um, clock is off just a little bit. I'm sorry for that. Um, I have to fix it to today. Pick up those feet, point and flex. So yesterday's trivia was who wrote and published the novel, The Metamorphosis? The novel was written by Franz Kafka. Today's trivia, which singer had a hit with 16 tons in 1955? So which singer had a hit with 16 tons in 1955? All right. And I read this uh, joke earlier today, but I think it's funny, and I don't like the other joke that I have. So we're going to read this one again. All right. Did you know that Las Vegas churches accept gambling chips? This may come as a surprise to those of you who do not live in Las Vegas, but there are more Catholic churches than casinos. Not surprisingly, some worshipers at Sunday services give casino chips rather than cash when the basket is passed. Since they get chips from many different casinos, the church has devised a method of collecting the offerings. The churches send all their collected chips to a nearby Franciscan monastery, a Franciscan monastery, for sorting and then the chips are taken to the casinos of the origin and cashed in. The name of the people that do the cashing in are called the chip monks. Oh, I thought that was cute. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful